Hello Pax, and welcome back to a new episode on Bob's View. This is my first prediction video on a WWE event. Let's take a look at the card and make an educated guess as to what may go down on Money in the Bank 2020. As of the moment I make this video, the latter matches are still undergoing through qualifying rounds, so I won't be doing that today. Let's talk about the matches that seem to be almost confirmed. First off it's Bailey vs Tamina for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I have to get this out of the way before giving my opinion, both women in this match are very athletic and talented, I don't think I'll be able to do half the things they do. Now with that out the way, it's too obvious that Bailey is going to retain the title, nothing against Tamina and her talents, but she's been a jabroni for way too long and in my opinion, even though she is an imposing figure like Kane was for the men's division. Tamina lacks credibility as champion. Hope I'm wrong and she surprises in the match, but given the history and what happened at Mania, I just hope Sasha doesn't get involved, even if it's part of the Sasha vs Bayley storyline, then WWE should do it on the following pay-per-view, because it's just becoming a drag. Now let's move on to the other championship match, this time from Raw. Seth Rollins will challenge Drew McIntyre as it was made obvious in the latest edition of Monday Night Raw. The Monday Night Messiah took aim at the champ after being attacked by Angel Garza just after battling Andrade in a champ vs champ match. These two have a storied rivalry that goes all the way back to 2012, when the two battled in the first round of NXT's Gold Rush tournament to crown the first ever NXT World Champion. At that exchange Drew lost and Seth went on to win the title. It's interesting to see how the two will surprise us on the evolution of their techniques. As of the result of the match, I see, AOP tried to help Seth win by interfering in the match, and even though they aren't allied by any means, I do see KO, reversing what AOP did in the match, resulting in Drew winning. Even if the scenario doesn't happen, I still see Seth losing and helping cement Drew as a top champion in 2020. Let's take some time to address the Raw Women's Champ. Becky Lynch. It is still not clear if she'll have an opponent in the pay-per-view, so as a heads up, when the latter matches are announced, I'll do a prediction video on them. As for Becky, for some reason I feel she will attack the winner of the match and two things will happen to the winner. 1. 2020's winner will be the first to lose the title match creating some kind of uncertainty, just like the men's four losers. Or 2. The winner will be Nia Jax, and help create some heat on her and make her a top heel after her two knee surgeries. Now it's time for the main event of the video, as you saw in the thumbnail, I predict this will be a triple threat for the title, but not a Firefly Funhouse like at Mania, that would diminish the match, even though they could do it, I don't see it happening. And I'm going to go with two scenarios, just because the first one is just a fun, what if, the WWE could do, since there are no crowds. Number one is that Bray and the Fiend pull in, unnamed Namikian trick on Brown and now we have two challengers for the title. In this first one, I see Bray losing, but not the Fiend, let me explain, the Fiend gets distracted or incapacitated by Cena or any other superstar that has a beef with him because they lost against the Fiend, and Brown pins Wyatt, causing Bray to realize that separating from the Fiend was a bad idea just to challenge again at a future pay-per-view as the Fiend full-powered and getting back the title when they have a crowd watching. Or number two, they battle and midway during the match he possesses Brown Strowman and basically brainwashes him into surrendering the title and pins him. One, two, three, for the winner and new Universal Champion, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Hope you enjoyed this video, and you can voice out your own opinions even if they don't agree with mine. If you like this video hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to have a discussion with me, follow the links below.